92.3 Amp Radio. Happy Friday, familia. We got a very special guest right now in studio. The one, the only, crazy talented, crazy humble, and hilarious, Ed Sheeran in the building. What up, Ed? Shaboy. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Ed. Hello. Does it, sound, it sounds different in a, an English accent, right? Yeah, I, I like it better in an English Shaboy. accent. I was watching you on the red carpet. Absolutely hilarious. And they brought up this question that I wanted to know more about. But they brought up about how, you know, your music is the music that is used mostly in bed yeah. by other people. <laughs> of course. And uh, he's like, of course. That's why I make it. And you said, actually, your music C blocks your cousin. Yeah. Blocks your cousin. Yeah. Your female cousin. Female cousin. Yeah. She's not too, she's not too keen on it. She just gets brought back and wooed by guys and they're like, hey. And then they put on me to set the mood. And she's like... Yeah, no, I'm not going to get off to my cousin. That doesn't sound, <laughs> doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound great. Buzzkill. You have tons of friends in the it's music. Not actually, I've got a better one about, yeah, please. about my cousin. My cousin was, uh, my other cousin, I've got like 26 cousins, so we're all Irish Catholic. Are you sure? But, oh, a Latino style. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We just look Catholic connection. We just look at women and they get pregnant. It just, it just, it just, it just oh, and, oh. anyway, the, um. Don't look over here. So she went, she went on holiday, a uh, girl's trip. With, with all her mates and her mate was in a bar and this dude came up to her and was like hey like yeah so do you want to come back to mine like yeah I have a song on the radio at the moment you know my name's like Ed Sheeran and stuff no. and she's like hold on a minute goes to get my cousin and she goes tell her that and he goes yeah you know like my name's Ed Sheeran I got this song song on the radio and then uh, Kathy my cousin just pulls out her ID and puts it and it says Kathy Sheeran and she holds it up and she says look at that not today, mate. Not today. Oh. And and the guy's like, of all the bars and all the lands, apparently it works. Works for him. Yeah. <laughs> There's unreal. loads of ginger people in England who are smashing, oh, smashing. having having a lot of fun. Hopefully, you, you don't get on... any child support checks. No, but we did. We did. We did. We did get this random email to yeah. to, to to my manager from this girl who was like, and this was while we were on tour in America, and it was like, uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, I think I think I slept. With Ed last night at a festival, but I can't remember if it was him or not. If it was him, tell him he's an ass. And if it wasn't, tell him I'm sorry for this email. <laughs> so this, and this was like this was like a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah. Um, this is a fan that went to your concert. This, no, this is just a random girl from a, a festival that thinks that she had a night with me, but I was in America when it happened. And yeah, it's um, it's it's inter- There's basically a lot of ginger dudes in England that look like me that are uh, using. Gingers are getting yeah. it, yo. But then Thanks to Ed Sheeran. That's, that's why I'm not hating on it. I'm yeah, just no. like, you know what? Like, it, we're finally getting laid. Like, this is, <laughs> this is, this is a good thing. This is a, a great a moment, thing. man. And also a great moment is to hear that your North America tour is completely sold out. You just got a very awesome award, prestigious award, yeah. for being a songwriter from Sir Elton John. Yeah. No, it's How was a, that moment? Well, it's a it, it, it's an award called an Ivan Novello, and it's all voted for by songwriters. There's like a songwriting academy which has people like Paul McCartney and Elton John on the board to vote for you to win. And yeah, getting songwriter of the year was was pretty cool. I'd won song of the year before, and that was like my favorite award that I've won. But songwriter of the year was um it was legit. It was legit. It was cool because I got to sit next to Elton in the ceremony as well, and he's very crude, and uh, he says what exactly what he thinks of everyone. So whenever anyone walks on stage, he just Say something really mean. <laughs> something <laughs> memorable that he said to you that night? Uh, Sir Elton John? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I can say it on air. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, Please right. do. <laughs> he said, he said because he had to introduce me for the speech, and he said, oh, I'm going to introduce you on the podium by saying you can taste better than Noel Gallagher's. <laughs> oh, wow. That's quite memorable. That is you can't de- hear that. That is definitely memorable. <laughs> that is a memorable moment, man. Yeah. Speaking of memories, one hundred percent true. That's one hundred percent true. Speaking my brother, my brother was sitting next to me as well. My brother's just like, what the? F-? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> hey, it's Sir Elton John. He can say whatever the hell he wants. Yeah, right? he's, yeah. got, he's got a great sense of humor, man. But uh, mad respect to you, bro, because of your talent. It's amazing that you can sell out stadiums. You sold out Madison Square Garden three times. You're selling out concerts this entire weekend all across the tri state area and it's just you and your guitar like other artists have to go up there twerk lick themselves try to show everything in order to sell out and and then that's just so amazing man and and we gotta show that love and respect for you thank you for that brother well thank you thank you for you having me you don't have me. to lick yourself on stage or anything <laughs> no I'm, I, I wish i could i wish i could <laughs> speaking of memories and just awesome moments uh your new single photograph that we're going to talk about coming up next it's a pictures and videos of Ed Sheeran growing up, I want to ask you which picture or which video 
in that music video is the one that gets to you the most. And also, are you down to go to prom with us? To prom Coming with up next? you? Yeah. Are you, are you down? He yeah, looks scared. You, you have to wear something slutty, though. <laughs> I have to wear some slutty? Yeah. And what? probably put out at the end of the night. The, oh, yeah. that's I'll cool. I'll treat you good. I'll buy you a cool sit and stuff. Yeah, All right. It'll be cool. I'll, and I'll, 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 I'll borrow some really like bad car and we can make out in the back of it. Done. You're done? Um, I love this. Yeah? No worries. As long you're as not, I can get front row invited. seats to your concerts. Thank it'd be, you. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be awkward if you were there. Yeah. Great. You know, yeah. that's fine. I'll just sit sorry. in the corner. Sorry, Nina. Sorry. You can't third wheel. Third wheel. This one. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can come to the prom. You just can't come afterwards to, to make out point. <laughs> when we drive up to make out point to see the sit. Do you have make out? There's no make out point. Whatever, you know? Ed. I loved you until you decided to leave me in a corner. It's fine. <laughs> for, I'm sorry. For boy. <laughs> nobody, nobody puts baby in the corner, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. No. Okay. All right. So before we take you to a prom, uh, tell us about your new single, Photograph. Yeah. Um, it's a song that I wrote. Uh, it's actually one of the first songs I finished for the album. Um... And I like it. I uh, It was meant to be the main single. No one uh, actually thought Thinking Out Loud should be a single. And um, huh. then it came out in England and just stayed in the top 20 without radio play. So everyone was like, oh, maybe Thinking Out Loud should be the single. But th th this was meant to be the, the big one. So, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> let's hope it is. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It is. Now, it's a, it's com this music video is compiled of pictures of you growing up and videos. Is there a picture in there that hits a special spot in your heart, like when you see it, like you can get teary eyed a little bit. Like I know when we look back and we're sitting with our parents and looking at old school albums or whatever it may be, there's certain pictures that get to you or videos. Yeah, was, Would you um, say one in particular? Yeah, walking up, there's a bit where I'm walking up a garden and it's my uh, grand, grand, grandparents' garden mm -hmm. and uh, my granddad was like mad on gardening. Um, so yeah, that, that, just because I've just got great memories of that house and that garden, you know, which so is cool. still, which is still there. It's just, you know, it's, um, yeah, I, I yeah, I don't get over there as much as I want to. I love the video because you look exactly the same. Like even as a little baby, you're like, "Oh, that's Ed." Like you yeah. can pick you out of a lineup easily. Yeah, I was a weird baby though. I was a well, I was a weird kid. What was weird I'm, about I'm a weird you? Adult, actually, I've, I haven't really, I haven't really uh, evened out. I don't think I'm that's still, probably a good thing. That's what people love about you, man. That you're not because listen, bro. Mental. Not everybody is average. Everybody is different. Everybody's everyone weird. is weird. Yeah, and that's what's awesome about that. I guess so. You know? Yeah. And then you're not afraid to be different and weird. And, no. Uh, well, I find I find it's a conversation starter. If you're odd, I mean, I have ketchup tattooed on my arm. That's a good conversation. Starter. You have a what? I have a ketchup bowl tattooed up. I can't even get it up. It's up there anyway. <laughs> oh, ketchup oh my god! I got it in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, yeah. and were you drunk at the time, or you no. did it? You really wanted to do it? Yeah, it was my first date of my first U.S. tour, and it was a, it was a sold out tour again. It was smaller, smaller venues, and I felt I need to um, com commemorate this. I'm yeah. in Pittsburgh. I like ketchup. Ketchup is Pittsburgh. Let's do it. Absolutely, man. I didn't know ketchup was Pittsburgh. That's yeah. new to me. Yeah, I, I didn't no know idea. either. With that we transition. Out, oh, sorry, Karen. No, no, go ahead. No, no, we went we went out in Pittsburgh with uh, Mac Miller, which was which was actually really really fun we went to some dive bar and played pool and um yeah it's i really like pittsburgh really, i have really a like feeling it. that this weekend tons of dudes are gonna go out and get ketchup tattoos on their arm <laughs> and continue saying they're ed sheeran because a lot of people are doing that to get hooked up with girls now speaking of hooking up with girls man let's pretend right now you're in new york and let's do a little prom improv ed sheeran we're gonna improv back and forth cool. pretending you're at prom all right. All right. So I didn't first, even make it to my prom. Actually, no, I went to my 16-year-old prom, but I didn't make it to the 18-year-old. I wasn't in school then. <laughs> but yeah, I won most likely to be famous at 16 at my prom. They did were right. Really? Whoever did yeah. that, they, they hit it off. Who that's famous nowadays, which girl would you take to prom right now, today? Uh, Megan Trainor. I think why? she'd be fun. Yeah, I think just be I think, fun? Yeah. Who's in the limo with you at prom, Ed Sheeran? Uh, what, well, out of... Out, out, out of your friends? Um... Well, what, not my school friends, right? People that you'd be interested in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> current now. friends. Okay. Now. Like, you know, uh, know, Taylor Swift or something. Yeah, if you're going to prom right yeah, well, now. Well, ta yeah, Taylor would be there. Um, no, who would be, who would be, I get someone like really, really hood, like walk a flock of flame or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> just to be there, just pouring alcohol on the floor, staring at people, being like, what? <laughs> just to turn yeah. up for real. Yeah, no, that, that'd be good. That'd what? be good. So walk a flock of flame. Um, who else? Um, Gucci Mane. Nice. All right. Yeah, Soldier Boy. <laughs> Uh, just like yeah, I just I just want the most turnt, turnt, most turnt limo. Um, yeah, young thug. Okay. Young thug. What is going on right I don't now? Know. This sounds like an episode of Love and Hip Hop. I I I I'd ask him. I'd be like, mate, like, what do you say before you say lifestyle? Do you know what he says? 
What did he say? I don't know. I have I no idea. Know. You, d- you know, you know do you said? know the song? Yeah, yeah. You know the song? Yeah. Lifestyle. It's your, you walk into prom, bro. <laughs> oh, also, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rich homie Quan. Rich homie Quan. <laughs> yes. That, yes, that that song, um, oh, oh, have you heard that? Um, Walked in a hundred thousand dollars in my jean and people like, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you didn't know. Ed Sheeran's going to stand hip-hop. out. Once they open up that limo door, all of a sudden Ed's going to be like, Bee! Yeah. Heck no, yeah. I just have a posse of people that would just put on some turnt <laughs> Nobody music. would mess with you. So let's Oh, and you... Mustard. DJ Mustard. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Do you know his name? You know his name's Dijon. That's why he's called yeah. Mustard. His yeah. first name's Dijon. Yeah. I love him. And then also, you got the ketchup tattoo. Guess what set. DJ Khaled's first name is? What's what? DJ Khaled? Khaled. Guess what his last name is? Khaled. Is it Khaled? His name is Khaled Khaled. Well, Legend. That, that's most appropriate DJ love name him. ever. I DJ love him. Khaled sounds good. Have so. you seen his new video? No. With the intro, he kind of he, he has these intros now for his videos where like he's, he's speaking to a girl and he's just like, "Who's your inspiration?" She's like, "DJ Khaled." He's like, "Smartest thing you ever said." Give me a kiss, and then he kisses her. He's like, "Another one, another <laughs> one, another one." Don't ever play yourself. Know that. <laughs> know that. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Uh, if, I, like, I really want to do a really slow acoustic song, like really slow, like really gentle, and just have him on the beginning just shout, you DJ Khaled, we the best. And then it goes into something really slow. You have to. Oh, speaking of you that, really man, should. I want you know, to talk If you know him, hook it up. I want to oh, talk right. to you about, uh, I want to talk to you about, so second to last question here. You're at prom and uh, your favorite song comes on. Mm. To get turned with Megan Trainer and just tear up the dance floor. Yeah. And we hear it and it sounds like this. What would that song be? To know, get turned with Megan Trainor. To be honest, Trainor. whenever Loyal comes on, it's, it's, it's one of these songs that, as, as a white man, I can't sing all the lyrics. So I just have to kind of look a bit awkward and dance, but I do like dancing to it. Nice. Yeah. So, that one, yeah. <laughs> Good time. Or uh, Paranoid, Ty Dollar Sign. Nice, yeah. brother. Yeah. Or stand for Ty. Actually, any Ty Dollar Sign. I like Ty Dollar Sign. Thank you, Ed Sharon, for being with us. We love you, man. We wish you the best you, uh, in the rest of your career, man. Thank you for being true talent. Thank you for being so humble. And uh, and I think that's what really has projected you to the level that you're at. Not just your talent, but the fact that could, people can relate with you mm-hmm. and consider you their friend, for real. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you for what you're doing, boss. Nice one. Thank Ed you. Sharon, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.